she told us about the special bottles with the special pigeon nipples. Those nipples are especially made for the cleft palate. So it helped us tremendously. She started eating, and we were very excited. Yeah. <laughs> they can eat, and they will gain weight. It just, you've got to find the right resources. Some cleft palate bottles are considered assisted delivery bottles. The pigeon is not an assisted delivery bottle, which means the baby compresses or sucks all the milk into her mouth without any assistance from the caregiver. Here's how to put the bottle together. There are four parts. Bottle, collar ring, non-latex nipple with a Y-cut and an air vent, and plastic one-way flow valve. The nipple and collar fit standard size baby bottles as well. Fill the bottle with the recommended amount of formula or breast milk. Place the nipple into the collar ring. Place the one-way flow valve into the nipple with the movable stopper towards the inside of the nipple. Screw the collar with the valve onto the bottle. The tighter the collar, the slower the milk flow. The more loose the collar, the faster the milk flow. You can make the adjustment once you know your baby's feeding rhythm. For example, if the baby doesn't seem to be getting enough milk, loosen the collar to increase the rate of flow. Make sure the air vent and Y-cut are cut all the way through. And after washing, cleared of any milk residue. To begin feeding, hold the bottle upright, squeeze the nipple between your fingers. Tilt the bottle upside down, release the squeeze, and milk should start to fill the nipple. This process can be repeated. Put the air vent, which is the notch in the nipple, under the baby's nose. If the nipple collapses, the collar is probably too tight. Loosen the collar until the nipple decompresses, and then resume feeding. To clean the pigeon feeder, wash the nipple and bottle with warm, soapy water rinse and air dry. Make sure the air vent and Y-cut are clear of any milk. Do not boil, microwave, or place the bottle in the dishwasher. Just like other nipples, you should always inspect the nipples for signs of wear and tear. Using an old nipple can be dangerous for your baby. If the nipple looks misshapen, feels soft or gummy, or has any cracks, it is time to throw it away and use a new nipple. Be patient. Um, you have to really have a lot of patience, I think, and have you know let your family members, your spouses know that you know patience is is going to help in these times of frustration. Um, but it, everything will come if you you're just patient and calm, and it will all work out. For ordering information, go to cleftline.org or call 1-800-24-CLEFT.